Hello friends, welcome again to our channel must watch tips and this is part 2 of this video. So today in this video we are going to see how to make this stunning Marvel Avengers super cool presentation with the help of morph transition and smart art. So do watch this video till the end in order to see all the steps which I have performed to complete this presentation. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. So for those who are watching this video for the first time, I request them to see the first part of this video where I have created this image placeholders from smart art and we have added animation like this. So if you are able to make this animation with your own then it is very good but if you need any guidance then you can watch that video. So I have provided the link of that video in the description as well as you can visit our channel and watch the video from there. So now let us proceed with the next steps. So the first step is to add photo of our heroes in this placeholders. So here I have already downloaded photos of heroes which I wanted to add in my presentation. So you can download photos of your favorite heroes then. Make sure you download the photos in PNG format especially in the hero avatar like this where there is nothing in the background. But if you are able to find a photo like this where there is white or single color in the background then I will show you a trick where you can remove this white background from this image. So let us come back to this presentation. So now let us add photos to these placeholders where I have named these placeholders like for example if I go to selection pane I have named this from 1 to 6. Okay uh, if you don't find selection pane in the quick excel toolbar, you can always go to home where you will find arrange and there is a selection pane button over here. So if you will right click you can always pin this to quick access toolbar. So let me just insert one picture. So I'll go to this device and I will insert the picture which I have already downloaded. So let us say I want to insert Iron Man's photo in the placeholder one. So I'll first adjust it to the required size which I want and I can just send this to back to see that which areas of the photo is this placeholder covering and then I can again bring it to front. Also you can see that by clicking on this resize circle which are provided. So let us say this much of portion of this image will be visible in the placeholder. After that is being fixed you have to select this image. So here you can see in the selection pane that the picture is named as picture 7. So I'll select that picture 7 first and then I'll select shape 1 by pressing control. So this is how my both the uh, shapes are getting selected. Now I will go to shape format and in merge option I will select intersect and here you go you have merged this photo with the shape. Now I will make group of these objects so I will select all of these objects and I will press ctrl G and now you can see that the group has been formed as group 10. Now I will rotate it like this and if you are very accurate with the angle of rotation then you can always go to picture format and in the rotate option there are multiple options where you can specify the degrees of rotation which you want. Now as uh, we have rotated this object we will again ungroup this and in the second shape now we will insert one more image. So I will go to insert picture and I will choose another picture and again I will resize it according to my preference and now I will select the picture as well as shape 2 by pressing ctrl. I will go to shape format and in merge shape I will select intersect and in similar pattern you will again make group of all this by pressing ctrl G then rotate it and insert the picture in this red one and the same for all the remaining placeholders.
So now as we have added photos to all the placeholders, we will select all and press Ctrl G to group this. We will rotate this a bit and arrange it in the center. And we will copy the same in the second slide where we will move this to right hand side. We will now, we don't need this right now. So we will delete this and for this we will reduce its size a bit. And we will make start from Iron Man. So Iron Man will be placed in the top left corner like this. So if we will select all and apply more transition. So now we can see that after inserting photos, it looks like this. But we don't want like this. So what we will do is there is a simple trick. We will ungroup this all. And even we will ungroup this from the second slide. And now you can see that it is the same animation as we were expecting. Now the next step is to add a circle in between. So we'll go to insert shape and by pressing shift I'll make a circle. So you can always make a perfect circle by holding shift button and I'll reduce its size like this and I'll place it in the center of it. I'll select no outline and let me choose black in the center. Also let me insert a picture uh, the logo of Avengers in the right in the center of the black circle which we have just created. Now I will copy this black circle to the second slide where I will make it larger like this and I'll place it in the left hand side of the slide and to the Avengers logo I will make it smaller and move it to the leftmost side of the slide. So the reason behind this black circle putting uh, like this in the second slide is that let me show you while I'll present. So if I press next button so you can see that the black circle is becoming bigger and coming in the left hand side of the slide. So that is why we have added that circle in the second slide. So now most of the work is done till now. There are minor things which needs to be added. So let us add Iron Man and text boxes. So first of all, let me go to insert picture from this device. I will add Iron Man's PNG format image and let us place this Iron Man to the left side. And let me arrange this circle a bit first. Perfect. So now while this slide comes, I want this Iron Man to come top area of the slide. So I will copy this image and paste it in the first slide where I will place Iron Man on the top area of the slide like this. And let me just quickly paste the text boxes which I have created like this. And as Iron Man's suit color is red, so let us make it theme color for this black circle which we have created. So we will select this shape. We will go to shape format and in the shape fill, we will choose eyedropper. And you can choose color like this. You can select any of this palette you like and you can paste it over here. And with the help of eyedropper tool, you can choose that color instantly. Now the one thing which we need to do on the right hand side of the slide is that uh, we will maximize this Iron Man because we are currently displaying Iron Man in this slide. So we'll make this bigger like this and we will arrange it a bit like this and we need to copy this text boxes as well in the just previous slide which we have I would like to place this above the slide area and let us see what we have made till now so it's the first slide and if I'll press next it looks like this let us watch again there you go. So in the same way you can do this process for all the superheroes which are there in your slide. Like for example in slide number 3 I have Captain America. So I have placed the Thor over here which is there in the slide number 4 as well as Iron Man over here right in the bottom because it was there in the slide number 2. So in this way you have to add the text boxes as well. Let us say in the slide number 3 I have the 
text boxes of Thor which will be there in the slide number 4 and Iron Man's text boxes are below this along with the Iron Man's image down here because it was there in the slide number 2. So this will make the morph transition complete when you have all the objects common between the slide which is there above and below. So this is how I made all the slides and do not forget to select all and apply the morph transitions where you can play with the duration whichever you want and apply to all. Also you can add sound effects if you want but I haven't added it in my slide. So let us see what I have made till now. So this is all which I have for this video and if you like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Also if you have any questions regarding this presentation you can always ask that in the comment box. Your questions and queries will be answered. And now it's time to say goodbye. See you in the next video.